Good morning, 11.14 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Wednesday, January 17th, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So as we can see, XRP is down 1.31%. We're coming into an anomaly phase right now because XRP is getting down towards this lower support. We projected it to be this lower level of support right around this 56 cent mark, maybe a little bit higher, but right around 56 cents. If we can hold that, that should allow us to bounce back up to around the 61 and then possibly even push this bull flag resistance. We have this underneath support that we have to hold at this 56 cent level. It's actually just a little bit below that. It's right around 56 cents. So 56 cents, 55.9. As long as we hold that, that would be a perfect spot to reverse. As you can see in the hourly, we're heading towards oversold. 45 approaching oversold. 30 minute, we're right on the cusp. Two hour, we're right on the cusp. So we could have a little bit more of a down movement down to around that 60 cent level. 59.9. Uh, and then that could be what helps uh, project us back up. There's one thing that I'm paying very close attention to this morning. We've got the DXY up to 103 spot 58. The DXY at some point here is topping out. I know in the 30 minute it's starting to come back up. It tried to clear out a little bit. But if you start looking at the hourly, we're in the overbought. Two hourly, overbought. Three hourly, overbought. Four hourly, overbought. And we're getting into some extreme overbought in the four hourly. Daily, we're getting up here. So after the daily candle closes in about seven hours, I believe we're going to be in overbought. And we're... We're coming up to this major over-the-top resistance on the daily. This is the 200-day I was talking about a long time ago when we were down. This created all the way up to 103 spot 80. But now the question is, is there anything left over the top? Because once this reverses, it's going to allow precious metals to start to reverse rally. It's going to allow most likely cryptocurrency to rally just because the devaluation in the dollar as it comes down. It'll bring the prices up in crypto. But as it's setting up, it's setting up perfectly for that. We're still within a bull flag structure right here. If this breaks up, you could anticipate it. We know that 61 to the top side of this, right around that 61.5. But over the top of this, we also have that 63 cents. It almost looks like XRP is creating a little cup and handle here. And even if you just look at it from here, a short term, and we're not going farther back, you could say we're starting to round it right here. So, I mean, I'm looking for that comeback. I know it's probably going to come down to the bottom here, but I'm looking for a bounce after it hits there and comes up into there somewhere. Just doesn't seem like we have enough strength just to completely just fall off right now. We're trying to hold the 200 day in the daily. We lose the daily time frame. We start breaking down and five, three, four is the next support. I think it's pretty simple at this point. That's what we're looking at. We're just stuck within this consolidation. So it feels like we're talking about the same thing day after day after day, which we are for now. But that's why it's our job to watch this each and every day, to stick together, to have positivity over negativity. That's why we don't play the victim here and we play the winner. And we have to have all the information to make an educated and informed decision, not just on the XRP chart, but within the news itself as well. So XRP, struggling on the prices, struggling within the day-to-day. -day. But if you look at it from a longer time frame, at some point here, we're going to get into this oversold area. And everything's creeping down now. XRP is going to get to a point where it's going to have value here. The question is, is do we break through? If we were to break down, you have 534 underneath. If you break 534 underneath, that's when you can have the violent move down. I don't think 37 and a half cents is necessarily going to happen just yet. But if you break some of these support systems, then we can start talking about those lower levels. As of right now, I'm just looking for the continuation Right around that 559 56 cents. And then we'll go from there. At some point, we're going to have to have a reversal, even if we do crash. And it looks like we're starting to come down into the consolidatory zone to where it might be a beneficial point to be able to flip this on a um, swing trade here or whatever you decide to do. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just trying to show you the short term, medium term, and long term targets. Today, we're focused more on the medium term, short term, just because of the way the pattern set up. We have to stay out in front of this. But this is the immediate pattern. There's no reason to look beyond it. We have to figure out what's going to happen within this formation before we can figure out the wider formations. So right now, the short-term narrative is absolutely crucial. If you're looking to trade XRP or your favorite crypto, make sure you look in the video description below and or pinned comments. You can trade on MEXC and or Bitfinex. 
They're the two that I found in the USA with the lowest spot fees this, for spot trading or future fees if you want to leverage longing or shorting the market. And then you can send it to Uphold. Uphold has extraordinary fees, so I try to find ways to uh, get us lower fees or no fees at all. And that's worldwide or USA. If you want to show me personal support, I'd greatly appreciate new members in Tom's Army as we have been struggling this new year to gain new members. Or if you want to send a YouTube super chat, I'd be internally grateful. Other than that, share this on social media. Make sure to hit that like button. Pay attention to everything I've said in this update. I'm going to keep it short and simple so that we can uh, stay on track. We've seen everything on the perspective of the XRP chart. Now we need to look at it from the XRP market cap down 407 million or 1.3% to 30.81 billion. And XRP right now with the market cap, we're right on an uptrending support that we've targeted if we're going to stay in this formation that's at 30.78 if we break down from here though this is where it gets interesting if you break down from this level this is the rising channel support if xrp loses this this is where you can uh come down next level would be 28.79 and then in time you could come all the way down to 22.9 billion but that's that's an extreme drop Right now, if we lose this underneath, we have 28.7 billion. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. Thank each and every one of you this morning. Have a blessed start to your day. Don't overanalyze and don't let your emotions take control of your trading day. Stay blessed, everybody.